Real ending. It's finally over. Can't the guy get some privacy? At least when he's taking a dump? I'm afraid not. These fights don't work like that. It's time to die, Mr. First Rank. You gotta be shitting me. Will you hurry up with that? I'll be outside. That was close. Thanks. Ugh. What an idiot. You're a disgrace to yourself and all those you've killed. Huh. You just invaded my home and saved me from a black man. Let's fight! By the hotel! This boss takes many hits. He has so much health. I'm gonna see how fast I can beat him. People say normally 20 minutes. Jesus. I'm gonna try and beat him much quicker than 20 minutes. Oh my god. Mm. Wrestling helps. This guy does have an instant kill attack. He also likes to concentrate. Yeah. Yeah. You get him. Get him for daring to attack you. In your own parking lot. Yes. He has really tall boots. They're killing boots. He, he doesn't want to muck around in people's, you know. Aha! Ooh. Ah, crap, I could have wrestled him. I could have wrestled Henry! So there seems to be a pattern to how this do this fight. Well, first time you go through, you're not gonna know that you can dark stuff the hell out of that combo. But yes, <laughs> it's pretty easy to dark step him right there, and in a couple other spots too. Later on, he starts doing more stuff other than this. But yes, he he has a very good pattern, and every time he breaks one of your attacks, he goes into that combo where you can dark step him. So. We're definitely beating him quicker than 20 minutes when we've already chipped off a third of his health. Definitely. I like how they closed off the uh, with my arena bike. with your bike. Yeah, yeah, with my bike. Can you still run around behind the motel? I don't know. Dark Sept in there too. Oh yeah! <laughs> We've already hit him 73 times. And about four suplexes? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Look at him dance. Look at him go, yes. I love the sound this sword makes. It's the best sound. Oh no, watch how he's focusing! Well, he didn't do much with it. No, he didn't. But yes, first time you play this, you ever go up against this boss, he is very hard. Except for those projectiles, they're incredibly easy to dodge. Oh no! Yeah, if you stay uh -huh. close uh -huh. to him for too long while he's concentrating, uh... He does a charge attack right in front of you that you can't get out of, and it does a lot of damage. Uh oh, you didn't dizzy him that time. Oh no! You're losing your edge. I like the music here, though. 
I accidentally kicked him. Oops. Don't smash your pizza. Bike. I will record the instant kill attack some other time. This, this, this fight is long. Yep. Yeah, here it is. You want. Oh, oh, I paused. I thought I was gonna die there. <laughs> I accidentally hit the you pause button yourself. with my pump. Oh no, I'm gonna die! It was loading the cutscene! No, I paused by accident. Wow, wow, wow. Wait, he, he stole a move from the Darth Vader guys? <laughs> I guess. What was that? Yes, his instant kill attack is some major Dragon Ball Z stuff. I'm telling ya. You would know. I am Goku! This is my Goku voice, hello! I'm gonna cut Dragon Balls! <laughs> I'm gonna Kamehameha some stuff, I'm telling ya! <laughs> Where's Krillin? What else is there in Jacket Ball? Um. Bad guys? I don't know. I'm gonna be a Frieza! <laughs> now, this is what I call Super Saiyan 3! God. All in one! said my swordsmanship was awful, yet he's only hit me like five times. He's about to be dead. He's just got like old superiority complex. Yeah. Because he dresses so much better than you. <laughs> he sounded like a, a little person there. <laughs> uh, uh, damn it! That all you got, Travis? Don't make me laugh. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. Why the hell do you call me Travis? Travis, like you're my friend or something. Who the fuck do you think you are? You can't be serious. All this time you didn't realize. What are you talking about? I'm your twin brother. What the hell? That is the craziest shit I've ever heard. Why would you bring up something like that at the very last minute of the game? I would have thought you and the player would have at least expected a twist of fate of some kind! What? Ha! And hey, where's Sylvia anyway? She disappeared without a trace. Where the hell is she? You mean my wife. What? Wife? Yes, you know. Spouse. Soulmate. Henry's wife. Get the idea? When did you two get married? Oh, about ten years ago. Yeah, that's right. Because we were both in college at the time. Oh, shit! All news to me. I'm gonna need shock treatment to get over this one. I'm sorry for all the trouble my wife has caused you. Forgive her. She caused me some trouble, all right. But it helped me clear up a lot of things. Ah, you know how women are. Especially my wife. A really big spender. Yeah, she knew my income wasn't enough, so every now and then she'd just disappear. She's a bad wife, but a good woman. What? Are you telling me that you and her... Oh, come on! No! <laughs> but Travis, my brother, we're similar in many ways. <laughs> You're right. Suddenly you being my brother doesn't sound so awkward. <laughs> Let me ask you, how do you plan to put an end to all of this? Wait a sec. You want me to tie up all these loose ends? I don't think so. You're the protagonist. I'm just a cool, handsome foil who happens to be your twin brother. Hate to say it, but it's your job. I want to bail, but where the hell's the exit? Oh. There's no way out, is there? No getting out, right, bro? That's right. All we can do is keep running. Then let's find that exit they call paradise. Let's go! I like the other ending better. 
It's not done yet. Wait until the credits are done. It's not done yet. <laughs> There's a little thing at the credits. Wait, why, why does neither of them get chopped all to hell by the little sword sticking out of his sword? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure why those are there. That's what I want to know about his sword. It's pink. It is a pretty sword. Pretty pink sword. So, so... Pretty pony. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh... They're, they're twin brothers. Yep. And he's married to Sylvia. And that's supposed to explain things. No. <laughs> because I don't think it does. Henry's voice actor is the same voice actor who's voicing the guy in the answering machine, so... Maybe Henry actually was answering the answering machine. Maybe. Just hiding his accent. Maybe. It comes through in like one phone call a little bit when he says, have a nice day, and it's like, have a nice day. I can't do that accent at all. <laughs> so, just imagine me doing his accent. Uh, oh, look at those boots. He's, he's a cool guy. He's got cool boots. He sure doesn't have pink uh, cat pockets, though. No. We've got him there. He has no cat pockets. <laughs> Clearly, we are the cooler dude of the two. <laughs> That's a wallpaper right there. Yep. Tar solo. Same credits. Everybody is the same. There is nothing new. Main t-shirt design was masked up. Oh. What's your name? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Design some t-shirts for us. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Here's some paint. Ah. Eat. <laughs> He's one of those guys that's got... Yeah. <laughs> yep. Steve Bradley Baker is also in everything. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Blum. Quentin Flynn, voice of Henry, is also the voice of Raiden in Metal Gear Solid 2 and 4. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Ship. Ship beaming. <laughs> Organization team where they localize things. Gotta buy the game a new house. <laughs> Over here. Pack up all the game things and boxes. All the shirts. <laughs> like 20 boxes for shirts. Teflon is pretty heavy. They're so stiff, you can't press them down. Promotion movie. Additional editing, Michael Quick. I see where they got him. He's a speedy fellow. Yes. That's a long, long title for a song. Yeah. That one, not so much. Thank you, Dudley, for being so logical and professional. Dudley? Dudley. <laughs> Kazoo! Uh, Type 80s. There's so many guys. I thought Sagittarius was gonna be the oh, weird Oh, I thought that said Frank Mom. Hank <laughs> uh, Mom. Be, that's a terrible last name, Mom. Hey, how you doing, Mom? Thank. Joel Sebastian Gunther. President. <laughs> Look at all those testers. All those people who filled out sheets and sheets of things that could make the game more fun. But they were no. turned by someone saying, It's supposed to be that way. Yep. Ugh. You like this painting, don't you? Hmm. Let's go, Jean. I know. Too bad there won't be a sequel. <laughs>
You're lying, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> so there's a Gene Jr.? The whole game took place in painting land! Huh. There's something else coming up. One last thing. Uh, it's like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Right Ubisoft, after. that explains no. it. <laughs> Back to the Future oh, Fives! come on. But she just said it wouldn't be. Everything she says is a lie. The game took pace in painting land, I'm telling you! I don't know. The game I'm... wasn't a delusion of a mad painter. Let me write an essay explaining the entire game storyline and how everything was about paintings in the end. <laughs> Lava golf balls are just balls of paint. <laughs> <laughs> no more heroes. No more heroes. It's actually just a brand of paint. <laughs> I told you it was all about the motel. <laughs> Why wouldn't you believe me? Santa Destroy is just the color! <laughs> it's kinda reddish brown. Just With like some gray mixed in. in. <laughs> oh, I hate you, Gary.